This is insane. You're gonna try to curl for five straight days, like well over 100 hours. People have said, you know, what does it take to do this? Like, you must be really be crazy about curling. Maybe crazy being the operative word. Bill Pierce, along with his two daughters and a dedicated team of seven others, are going for the world record longest curling game. Their goal, 105 straight hours. We're just 10 regular Joes who love the sport enough to put our bodies and our minds through an absolutely abnormal activity. Greg Wells is a physiologist and human performance scientist. He has his own reasons for being here. It's kind of sick, but I'm really excited to see how getting completely exhausted, no sleep, exercise for five days straight, what it's gonna do to these people, that's actually gonna be kind of interesting. Bill and company have actually set the record twice before. In 2011, they went 60 hours. Then, in 2014, they upped it to 79 hours. They thought the record was safe, but then a team from Switzerland pushed it to 100 hours. I would say within 30 seconds, uh, against my wife's wishes, I immediately started planning the next phase to bring the record back to Canada. But the real motivation is less about holding their record than helping their community. They're calling it Rocks for Heart. My uncle passed away 40 years ago uh, at this time of, of a severe heart attack and there was no advanced cardiac care in the Muskokas where we live. Money raised is going towards a new advanced cardiac center in Barrie, Ontario. With only a two hour break every eight hours for each curler, their bodies and their minds will take a beating. You're gonna see a roller coaster of emotions. It will go from being happy, jovial to downright miserable uh, with the lack of sleep. To learn more about the effects a marathon like this will have on them, Greg is putting them through a number of tests before and after to get some answers. The first one is resting heart rate. The reason why I look at resting heart rate is because there's such a powerful connection between your brain and your body. When your body's stressed, when your body's tired, your brain tries to compensate, so your heart rate may go up. 76. That's a great number, actually, for standing around, daily activities. It really speaks to your ability to sort of control your emotions. The word will come up here. Uh, you tap on the bottom depending on the color of the word. So it's not what the word says, it's the color of the word. In a minute, you got 46 of them right out of 52, so 88% accuracy. So it'll be interesting to see how this looks on Monday. This one's just about how well can your brain control the fine motor skills in, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your legs. Sure. So the way that this works is we're gonna stand on one foot, mm -hmm. the other foot comes up, rests on the inside, hands on the hips, and we're just going to balance for as long as you possibly can. Sure. All right? Okay. Three, two, one, and up. There we go. Excellent. 33.8. That's a, a great result. It'll be very different on Monday. Okay, blue team, let's show them what we're made of. Throw it. And we're away. There may be some highs, there will be some lows, and we've all promised we're gonna work together to pull each other through it. Yep. Yep. Hard, guys, you got it. Hard. So got 600 and somewhat more tries to get that down, Pat, eh? It's physical in a normal recreational league, but what we're doing out here takes physical to a whole new level. Their muscles are gonna get tired. They're moving around on ice, which is a, a very difficult surface to move on, so their legs are gonna get fatigued. Four grueling days and nights have come and gone. Now, in day five, just minutes away from the record, Bill is on a break, and it's apparent that the grind has taken its toll. Took a long fucking road. <laughs> Some sore feet, I feel the, the cold coming up through the bottom of my shoes. With the record in sight though, there's no stopping him now. A new pair of shoes and it's back out to nail it down. Three, two, one. They've recaptured the record from the Swiss, but they need to make sure this will never be broken again. So they push it a few more hours to 105. The numbers are simply staggering. 
6,272 rocks thrown. At 20 kilograms per rock, they've moved over 125,000 kilos. That's equivalent to about 55 pickup trucks. And Bill himself walked about 185 kilometers. But there's also a tiny number, hours of sleep. Bill got five over the course of the entire five days. After the last rocks are thrown, there isn't a lot of energy left for celebration. Nine months ago, I said, let's do something crazy. Have we done something crazy? Yeah. 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 Okay. And Greg's about to find out just how crazy. All right, let's do a few tests and see how you're doing. Sure. Last time, your heart rate was 76. Now it looks like it's up to 102. The fact that it's jumped so high tells me that even though you're standing here and you're pretty chill, the stress that your body's going through right now is huge. Like, it's really hard physiologically for you even just to stand here. Do you mind if we take a look at how your brain is functioning? <laughs> <laughs> 60 seconds, 100% accuracy. So oh, wow. that's pretty impressive. Uh, that was better than you did last time. Mm -hmm. It's clear that you now know, like totally I'm focusing on one thing, no distractions whatsoever. You dialed right into that. So I'm just gonna test you and, and like we did before, three, two, one, and up. Clearly it's difficult, your legs are moving, mm -hmm. the brain and muscle connection is struggling to keep you in place. Mm -hmm. But again, the fact you're able to do it and you, you're now pushing yourself really, really hard, um, that's really impressive. I attribute the fact that they're performing better even though they're completely fatigued to just the fact that they've eliminated everything that's extra. You can see that they're very tired, they're, they're not moving very quickly, but when it comes to actually doing the moves that they're being asked to do, they narrow in, their focus gets perfect. I'm so proud of you guys. Just confirms to me that humans are so amazing and we really have absolutely no limits for what we're capable of accomplishing. I promise I'm going to do this again. <laughs>